Parties to contract disputes often complain that the contracts are unfair. Perhaps the price is too high, or the interest rate seems excessive, or fees and penalties for late payment become unreasonable. But unless contract terms are so unreasonable that they're unconscionable, courts will generally enforce contracts as written. And in Williams v. Walker Thomas Furniture Company, the court explained just what that meant. Walker Thomas Furniture Company was a rent-to-own retailer. It sold furniture and household appliances on credit. Customers then made installment payments. Until all the payments were made in full, Walker Thomas retained title to the merchandise. If a customer defaulted, Walker Thomas repossessed the item and kept all the payments made to that point, considering them rental payments. Only after a customer paid in full did the item belong to the customer. But Walker Thomas's contracts went further. They also included a cover-all provision, stating that when a customer bought a new item on credit, the balance due on that new item would also be applied to everything else the customer bought from Walker Thomas, even if that previous item had already been paid off. If the customer defaulted on the new contract, Walker Thomas could repossess everything the customer had ever bought from Walker Thomas, even if the item was paid for in full. Walker Thomas sued two defaulting customers, William Thorne and Ora Lee Williams, seeking to repossess merchandise it had sold to them. Pursuant to the coverall provision, that meant taking everything that Thorne and Williams had ever bought from Walker Thomas. The customers objected that the coverall provision was unconscionable, but the Court of General Sessions ruled in favor of Walker Thomas. The Court of Appeals affirmed. Thorne and Williams then appealed to the Federal Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit.